So what is we actually looking on here? We got this on the table. Um, we've covered some similar stuff on the show before, so um, but we've never actually had the model sitting on the table. So what is this piece of hardware we're actually looking at? So basically, Jerry, this is a sensor kit uh, we're testing with cementation. So it uh, includes a infrared camera and a 3D LiDAR. It's more like a smart 3D camera mm. for mining equipment. Traditionally, you know, uh, you may have backup camera with the purity camera. You may have proximity detection using tags, RFID tags that are in the helmet. So for this solution, so it's, it's a vehicle mounted sensor to make the machine safe, see clearly what the driver may not see. In darkness, it can find areas. So it's a sensing, a sensing module that combined with our edge computer, with our AI software in, embedded in the edge computer. So through a seven inch uh, tablet, so it interacts with the driver to give the driver warning if there's a pedestrian or vehicle nearby. So that is how the system works. And, and then how, it, so on like, an, let's say an LHD, what, or, you know, a rock truck or an underground truck, what, how many sensors would end up being on like this? So it depends on, on for, for, for heavy duty machines, you may have like a front, rear, left, right to cover 360 degree. For light duty vehicle, like a Toyota, you may just want to the front and rear, depends on the vehicle size. Right, right. So, okay, so what is, uh, you know, obviously uh, we know you want to get back to your booth. You got lots of people going by. Um, so what it just quickly though, what has the results been? What, what have oh, you sort of got to so far? It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Look, what looks like a pretty simple camera and, and sensor array, mm -hmm. uh, robustly built, uh, fits on any type of equipment that we own, mm -hmm. right? But at the end of the day, it, it's, that, it's that smart technology behind it. It, right. It's the brains behind it, the AI that is actually looking out 10 to 15 meters ahead of us and identifying risks for the operator. Because moving along underground with a rock truck or a, an LHD, um, you've only got so much time to react. So this is a game changer because it gives us an early heads up. Mm -hmm. There's an individual standing out there in the in the dirt. You may not even actually physically see them with the human eye at that point, but the AI has already picked it up and told right. the operator, there's someone out there. You probably ought to start slowing down. Yeah. Right? Or or more importantly, there may be somebody standing right in front of the truck. Truck is parked. Somebody's standing right in front of it or behind it, for mm -hmm. gosh sakes, right? And the operator jumps in and it's time to go somewhere. It's going to give them a heads up. Hey, there's a there's an individual right there. You should not move this vehicle right now. Yeah. Well, I, I've said it a few times on the show. Um, my grandfather, who I never met, um, he he got crushed by equipment. That's how he passed away. So when this sort of stuff, it's it's there's a personal level to it for me too. And a lot of us in mining know somebody that something. Yeah, you know, it's fatalities and look, it's un it's unfortunate, but that's the case. There's yeah. everyone's got a story or two or three. Yeah. Uh, God forbid. But it, but at the end of the day, this is where we're willing to put our money where our mouth is yep. and invest in technology that is going to create a safer and more efficient work environment for our employees underground. Yep. And, and it's simple. I mean, it's not it's not this huge monstrosity that we're strapping on to a big right. piece of equipment. Look at it. It's small. Yeah. But it works super effective. And if it gives that individual who's the operator of that piece of equipment that extra five seconds to take action and shut a piece of equipment down and we, we've saved a life yeah it's well worth it's well worth the nominal investment that we're talking about we're going to talk a more about cementation investing you know when to take risks when not to there's lots to cover today but ciao i know there's a lot of people that want to talk to you uh so i'll let you go thank you very much thanks, for doing this Jared. Thanks, ciao, thank you for joining yeah. me today mm -hmm. look uh, great partnership with loop x that we we intend to continue the development of the next stage technology as well. So yep. thanks very much yep. for all your Thank help. Thank you guys.